Hey guys, Lara here. How y'all doing? I'm eating some chocolate ice cream right now. It's totally healthy. It's just made of bananas and spinach. Yeah, there's spinach in here. Do you believe me? Swear to God, it's like healthy chocolate ice cream. It's so good. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about how to grind it out when you're tired. So this is for everybody that is running towards their dream of their vision of success or whatever goal you want to achieve in your life. You are going to encounter periods during your day or in your life where you are very tired. You just don't have the energy. You lack the vitality and the zest. To, to do the work that is required in order for you to actually go out and achieve your dreams and your goals, okay? Because because everybody knows you have to put in the work, you have to cultivate the skills, there's no shortcuts and there's no way around that. You have to work hard. And so yeah, you're gonna be tired and I've struggled with this for a very, very long time. So I'm going to share with you what I learned over the, a period of many years and just share with you some suggestions and some ideas that hopefully will help you. So the first thing, and of course this is pretty obvious, but it's worth repeating because it's so true, is that you actually need to love what you do in order to achieve your goal. Okay, if you don't love it and if there is no intrinsic desire to do the work, and when you do the work and you experience no pleasure, no flow, like to you, it's it's devoid of any happiness and joy. That's the wrong thing. You're doing the wrong thing. I swear, I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, it is the wrong thing because you need that love for whatever you're doing to carry you through those times when you're tired, those times when you face an obstacle in your life that's blocking you from what you love that love, okay, and that desire and that passion is what is really gonna pull you through. Um, your passion and your love for what you do is also connected to your why. You know, I always hear people say, you need to have a why. It needs to be tied to your core values of what you actually value in life and what is actually important to you because then it will hold a purpose and that too will carry you through the rough times. My last tip is to simply make it a habit. Okay, and of course this is easier said than done, but there is tons of scientific research on how to build daily habits because once something is a habit and is part of your lifestyle, you no longer have to exert any willpower or effort in order to do the work that is required. It's just an everyday thing. It's just what you do every day. Right? So like for instance, you brush your teeth every day, you shower every day, you get dressed every day, and you don't think, oh, I don't want to take a shower, oh, I just, I just can't muster up the desire to get dressed. You just do it because it is ingrained in you, because it is a habit. So you want to transfer this process in your brain, this process of applying the, this habit building ability to the things in your life that will actually benefit you and give you the greatest bang for your buck, okay? So whatever that is, you wanna turn it into a daily habit where you work on it and cultivate it every single day. And there is tons of amazing science about the way habits work in the human brain, how they are broken. You can't actually break a bad habit, you can only change the bad habit and replace it with a better habit they've found, okay? You wanna try to hijack your brain to take the not so great habits, okay, the bad habits, and replace them with the habits that will nourish you and support you to a better future, okay? So if you wanna learn more about the way habits work and how to form them, check out my blog post. I did a whole blog post about the way habits work they're broken down into three main parts. And um, I also have a book summary of the book called The Power of Habit, which is a book solely dedicated to the way habits work in our minds. So check that out. I will link it below for you guys. I hope this video helped you in some way and I'll see you in the next. Bye.